Good morning. Y'all come on in now. We made it. Deontay, we made it, baby. <laughs> we made it. Yes, we made it. If you can't get happy about nothing else, baby, you should be able to get happy just because you opened your eyes. As the old people would say, my bed is not my cooling board. You're not in the morgue, baby. Good morning. Hey, Gail. Lynn, Iretta, Darius, as you're coming in, if you would be so kind to like and share. Good morning. Lydia, I see you, boo. Good morning. It's Thursday! <laughs> Baby, it's Thursday. You hear me? But I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, somebody. His praise shall continually. Good morning, Chrissy. Be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. There's power in numbers when we come together. Yes, sir. And we unite. <laughs> Lydia, you better go ahead and praise him, honey. Baby, through heartache and pain, sunshine and rain, I made it. <laughs> Catherine Ford, I see you opened your eyes this morning, boo. Yes, I love y'all. But I will bless the Lord. 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 I will bless the Lord at all times. No matter what I go through, I choose to bless God at all times and praise him from my mouth. Come on, somebody. Now, can I just get somebody to magnify the Lord with me? Come on. <laughs> Good morning, baby. We made it. Tracy Davis. That means that God still has purpose for you. You still have work to do. We're all on assignment and I'm going to get to that here in a little bit, but y'all come on in. Come on in. I speak God's peace over your life today. Kahalani. Good morning, boo. Joyce Bookman. I speak the peace of God in your heart over your life today. I pray that you would walk in God's immeasurable peace today yes sir some of us just need peace we just need peace god's peace is available but you have to accept his peace come on baby it ain't nothing like peace it ain't nothing like the peace of god that surpasses all understanding come on somebody be anxious for nothing terry shaw i don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on, but be, the Bible says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, it will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. There is nothing like the peace of God. Baby, stuff can be going on around you, but when you got the peace of God, you can remain calm. <laughs> yes, God. Good morning, Courtney. Y'all come on in here. Please like and share. 
please like and share any day now any day now god will do what he said he would do he may not come hell of mine good morning boo when you want him but i know he'll be right on time yes sir any day now any day now god will do what he said he would do he may not come when you want him darius we pray in the name of jesus that the surgery will be successful we pray in the name of jesus that the surgeons would be alert that they will remember what they've learned we pray that it would not be a long surgery come on somebody we pray that they would do what they need to do and get on out of there so you can start healing in the name of jesus we're praying with and for you. And we're praying for a good outcome. I pray that you will be better after the surgery than you were before. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus, we believe God for you, Darius. Yes, sir. We believe God for you. Success. A successful surgery in the name of Jesus. God will do what he said he would do. He may not come when you want him, but I know he'll be right on time. Right on time. Right on time. He's always there, yes sir, but I know he'll be right on time, yes sir, Sherry Murphy, any day now, any day now, God will do what he said he would do. He may not come when you want him, but I know he'll be right on time. Darius, we are your family, baby. We love you. We love you, and I speak peace. I know sometimes those kind of things can bring about anxiety, but I speak peace. I pray that you would rest in the fact that you have people that are praying for you and people that love you and are standing in the gap for you. Come on, somebody. <laughs> yes, sir. Any day now. Any day now. Mm -hmm. God will do what he said he would do. He may not come when you want him but I know he'll be right on time yes sir good morning Sharetta good morning listen I'm turning and I'm not gonna keep going with this because I need to get through this uh assignment what we're gonna deal with today but I want to talk Talk about assignments life has so we, we we have been given so many assignments in life life is full of assignments you've got individual assignments you've got um seasonal assignments mm -hmm. some assignments are only for a season and then you've got universal or corporate assignments and today you're in rehab. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I'm going to put you on my prayer list. God is able. God is able, baby. And I pray that you would use this time to be strengthened in the inner man. Sometimes God allows us to go through stuff so that, that, that he can get our attention. Uh, so that all we can do is look to him. Sometimes life can get so busy. But there comes a time where God will say, okay, I, I, I just need to, I need to slow you down so that I can deal with you. So you take this time to be strengthened in the inner man, Terry. You hear me? But listen, I, I want to talk about universal assignments. The scripture says in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. I want to talk about the three-way assignment of all of us that proclaim the name of Jesus and, and we're believers and we're saved. There is a three-way assignment in this passage of scripture. Colossians 1 and 10, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So our, 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 our assignment number one is to please God. We have been given the every last one of us on this uh, live. And I believe that everybody's saved. If you're not, then Jesus is waiting on you to accept him as your personal savior. But I believe everybody on this side. But listen, so the first assignment is we are to live to please God. The Bible says, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to man. That's a good scripture for the people pleasers on here. Our assignment is to please God and not man. Can I get some help? Okay, so it's to please God. And then number two, being fruitful in every good work. Our assignment is to bear fruit. That is, uh, that's why God has placed us on this earth. That is our purpose. It's all of us. He has given us all, all of us the assignment to bear fruit. Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you. I assigned you to go and bear fruit that your fruit should remain. So number one, you've got, we're to please God. Number two, we are to be fruitful. And then number three, because I got to get out of here. Our assignment is to increase in the knowledge of God. We have been assigned that you be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. God's will is that we grow in the knowledge of him. I want to ask you a question. Are you fulfilling your assignment? Are you fulfilling your assignment? Are you doing what you've been assigned to do as a Christian? Are you living to please God? Are you being fruitful? Are you telling other people about Jesus? Or are you living a life? Living a life. Come on, Holy Ghost. Are you living a life that is bearing fruit for God? And then are you increasing in the knowledge? Are you reading your Bible every day? Are you studying to show yourself approved unto God? Are you living up to your assignment? Are you walking in your assignment? Lord Jesus, help us, God. We have been assigned. <laughs> and instead of focusing on other stuff... Are you living up to your assignment? Are you doing what God has assigned you to do? Help us, God. Because sometimes I, I get, we Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help us to remove distractions from our lives and, and, and do what we've been assigned to do. It's so easy to get us distracted. It's so easy. But I want you today, and I'm going to get out of here. It's 8 o'clock. I want you to confirm your assignment. 
I want you to identify your assignment. Make sure that you know what your assign your personal assignment. But in the midst of all of that, I want you to go to Colossians 1 and verse 10. That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. We've got to get back to our assignment. We've got to get back to following the assignment of God while we were created. Can I get some help? I got to get out of here. This is good to me. Because we get so bogged down with other stuff oh god help me i'm preaching to the choir we get so worried about other stuff instead of just walking out the assignment that god has come on some i gotta get out of here listen i love y'all so much be in carriage have a good day and i want you to focus on that today what what are you living? Are you working out your assignment? Are you doing what God has called you to do? And are you consistent? Thank you, Jesus. Are you consistent? Okay, y'all, I got to get out of here because I could keep going on and on. I love y'all. Have a good day on purpose. I love y'all. <laughs>